if you look at soft tissue sarcomas in general, many of them are, are driven, the tumor phenotype is driven by distinct genetic or molecular events. Many of these are translocations that may lead to transcription factors that have been somewhat difficult to target in terms of therapy. However, some of these lead to mutations or translocations involving kinases. And academic centers cooperating with industry have developed a number of targeted therapies that can bind to kinases and turn them off essentially like turning off a light switch. Certainly resistance occurs, but initial effectiveness is quite robust in terms of treating GI stromal tumor patients with KIT inhibitors, since KIT mutation drives many of those patients' tumors. Dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans has a translocation involving the platelet-derived growth factor B ligand and the receptor, and there's great PDGF receptor inhibitors, such as imatinib and others. And then um, giant cell tumor of bone is something that's caused by rank and rank ligand and can be treated with rank ligand um, antibodies such as denosumab. And then there's ten tenosynovial giant cell tumor of the tendon sheath. And this tumor is caused by a translocation between the collagen promoter and the colonase stimulating factor one ligand which leads to activation of the receptor and CSF1 receptor inhibitors such as pexidartinib and several in clinical trials, including the Decipher compound, uh, have shown some, some activity against that receptor. And, and so the list of, of targeted therapies that are effective in sarcomas continues to grow. Another one is with desmoid tumors that are caused by a mutation in a gene called beta catenin, which leads to downstream activation of a protein enzyme called gamma secretase. And there's a new gamma secretase inhibitor called neurogasistat that uh, has been shown in clinical trials to be effective about 40% of the time, shrinking these tumors substantially. So our list of of inhibitors and targeted therapy continues to grow. We still have some work to do in terms of the transcription factor driven sarcomas. And we still have some work to do with the complicated sarcomas that have multiple mutations like the dedifferentiated chondrosarcomas, osteosarcomas, leiomyosarcoma. We still have a lot of work to do with those subset of, of bone and soft tissue sarcomas.